Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is ASMR SLK. Today's video is dedicated to the ASMR tag, the 25 questions challenge, because it's one of the first video I'm recording in English, because I'm living in Orange County, California. It's, uh, a lot of Italians know because you can see from my channel most of my videos are in Italian so I decided to start uh, filming this uh, ASMR videos in e English also as usual before to start the video few recommendations um, first of all if you like what I'm doing in this video please uh, click on the like button and subscribe to the channel when I post new videos also in the description box in the under this video you can find different links uh, about my other channels uh, one of the channels is MLL California house tours where we show on YouTube different houses from Orange County and also I have a, a channel where I play with, with the simulator you can see in the, my background uh, I race Formula One cars with the championship from the um, DST F1 racing and on that channel which is called uh, music and gaming I film also myself while I'm racing also you can find links about Amazon affiliate links and also a link about investment like Webull okay if you subscribe in uh, Webull using uh, my link hundred dollars deposit in the account uh, to free stocks with a value until uh, 15 16 hundred dollars okay let's start so today is about the 25 questions challenge as you know the 25 questions challenge is a tag that has been started from GB one of the queen of ASMR videos worldwide first question when was the first time you experienced ASMR? Uh, so I have to go back a lot of years because as you see I'm old like Yoda and uh, the first time I experienced ASMR I was probably about 14-15 years old and uh, in Italy, I was living in Italy in that period I moved here in Orange County about 15 years ago so in Italy we called the hairstylist, we called the barber shop anyways and uh, I was, my mother brought me to cut my hair over there and uh, while I was uh, having my hair cut I start feeling these tingles with the noise of the scissors and the light pulling of the hair to cut it and uh, the experience was amazing so those tingles, I, they started my ASMR, I didn't know yet that was uh, ASMR, but uh, obviously from that point of view, going to uh, cut my hair was really a, a nice thing to do. So I, wa I was always uh, uh, pleased to go to cut my hair, even uh, in a few years later I always had my long hair, uh, because as a musician you can see my guitar, so I didn't go a lot a lot of time to cut my hair after that but in general every time uh, uh, someone was touching or brushing my hair I always had the uh, tingles from ASMR when was the first time you watched ASMR on YouTube? Uh, that was uh, pretty recent uh, the meaning is about uh, five years ago I was living in Beverly Hills, California and I was a manager in one of the big restaurants of uh, Beverly Hills and uh, in that period uh, the schedule working for a manager is about 10 hours per day uh, so we're talking about 50 hours per week and the schedule depends if you open or close the restaurant so you wake up very early like at 6 o'clock to open the restaurant at 7 or you go bed very late because for example Saturday night if you close you close about 11 and you get out of the restaurant about midnight so there was not a, a constant sleeping time or schedule to 
respect. Also, as an Italian, I drink a lot of espresso and during 10 hours of work, obviously, you have uh, plenty of opportunities to drink espresso. So, I had some problem to sleep regularly. Uh, so, at that point, uh, looking on the internet for uh, a solution, I end up discovering the ASMR. And the first ASMR was uh, uh, Maria from Gentle Whispering. What's your favorite? Third question. What's your favorite unintentional ASMR video? Um, I think I can remember the name, but I think uh, there is uh, one of these uh, um, very uh, um, wise old men talking on this video about uh, uh, different things. I don't remember exactly what, but uh, it was very, very uh, tingling, his voice and uh, his, uh, his, uh, his way to talk, the timing, how he was talking, that kind of gave me the idea to create my channel, uh, because my channel is specialized on whispering, not a lot on about sounds, but a lot of about whispering. And that video gave me the uh, tingles, and it wasn't an ASMR video. It also gave me the idea of create this channel. Name the last five ASMR artists that you watched. Uh, don't for sure, for sure, GB, uh, uh, gentle whispering, and also, also. like Chiara ASMR and uh, another one was uh, uh, Marco ASMR What is your favorite ASMR trigger to listen to? Uh, but there are a few that are really uh, give me the tingles uh, first of all uh, the, the, the first one is uh, the scissor sound the cutting sound of the scissor and also the brushing Brushing is uh, one of the best trigger I can always uh, uh, listen to. What is your least favorite trigger to listen to? Do it. Oh, uh, it's uh, tapping made in a wrong way. Like for example. So when it's too strong, when it's too, the sound is too pushy make me relaxing so what I like uh, I would do it like this <coughs> do you use ASMR to relax or, or fall asleep uh, mostly fall asleep because uh, I have a three YouTube channel plus I have my own job uh, sometimes I have music so I don't have a lot of time to relax sometimes the, I relax with my own video because some, because sometimes I just watch and listen to my videos to see what I can get better and sometimes I relax with that but in general when I listen to ASMR I listen to uh, fall asleep what is your bedtime routine um, I I'm a kind of vampire I, I mean, Right now I don't work anymore as a manager, so I don't have a, a weird uh, hours work. So usually I go to bed very late because I'm a kind of uh, a vampire artist, vampire. Uh, my inspirations usually comes during the night or late night. Uh, so which means when I go to bed, I go to bed and uh, I connect my phone to the YouTube and I choose uh, the ASMR that I think is gonna suit better and uh, if I don't like it I change it right away and I keep the phone face down so the light of the phone does illuminate the room doesn't give doesn't, doesn't bother me and I use the headphone and relax in bed and uh, fall to sleep what is your favorite triggers to do uh, my favorite trigger to do usually is my voice so I'm doing it already because I like when uh, um, ASMR artists 
whispers, especially if they whisper through the ears. So the changing of space of the voice that gives me the 360 degrees sound while I'm not watching, I'm just listening. It's very, very important to me. Uh, sometimes uh, as a trigger, uh, I from the ASMR artist I watch. It gives me more the tingles, the sounds that they are making, like for example the faraway sounds, like they're putting something on the table or moving something. They give me this they give me the idea of the space from the sound without looking at and that is very very uh, love it for me so what I'm trying to do is relax uh, my subscribers uh, by my voice and uh, I hope I'm, going, I'm doing a good job but that's the best uh, triggers and the triggers I like to do what is your least favorite trigger to do? the least triggers to do is um, the microphone scratching
mostly relax me. Uh, I it, I'm not a lover of my voice, so I'm, I, I I'm not I'm not I don't think my voice is beautiful in that way, in the relaxing way. But uh, um, uh, usually uh, it relaxes me a lot. Uh, usually what relaxes me a lot is a little bit of the dynamic of my voice when I move uh, on the microphone like this, uh, giving the space, the sound space that makes me uh, relax a lot. Do you watch your own videos? Sometimes, not always. Uh, sometimes uh, I rewatch it uh, to see if there is something I can make better and especially sometimes yes uh, especially if there is a video that's going well uh, have a, a good number of views I sometimes watch it at least a part of it to see uh, where uh, the video is going well where it's going worse uh, to, to try to fix in my mind what are the good things from that video they are getting a lot of views what software do you use to edit? I used to use iMovie and uh, GarageBand, GarageBand for the audio and iMovie for the uh, filming video, for the filming editing. Uh, right now, literally about a month ago, I upgraded to a Logic Pro uh, because also the music and to uh, Final Cut because with the other two channels, especially the, the channels about the houses, I need a little bit something more with me more effects or more opportunities to make easier the job. So when you editing ASMR is kind of easy, especially if you are just whispering like me, so you can just cut your mistakes, your voice at some points and go forward. When you editing for something different like music or like the houses where there is a lot of uh, sh scenes, changes, uh, so you need some uh, editing program that is a little bit more uh, easy on the job. So you can uh, edit with a shorter time. What time on the day do you film? Uh, usually I film in the uh, morning or late morning uh, because in the morning when you wake up your face is a little bit puffy and your voice is a little bit different. Uh, so I, I wait a couple hours after I woke up. Uh, this couple hours I just checking the analytics and uh, I work on the SEO from my channels. And then I about 10 to 11 to 2 p.m. is the period I film. Like right now, it's 2 p.m. And after I filmed, I have a kind of break, like lunch break. And uh, usually I start uh, editing during the afternoon. Then I stop when my wife comes back from work about 5, 6. We are together, we have dinner. And sometimes when, we go, when she goes to bed earlier than me, I use a couple hours to start editing. What is your favorite video that you have made? My favorite video I made is about my car. My channel is called ASMR SLK because I have a Mercedes SLK 280, which is one of my favorite cars forever. And I was able to buy it, um, to buy it uh, used here. And uh, uh, I did a video talking about all uh, my car and all my cars that I bought since I was in the United States. So since 2006, all the cars I bought, I did a video talking about every car and showing to my subscribers every car I bought in those years here in uh, California. Usually I really I always talk in my videos something interesting. Formula One, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, movies, uh, Star Wars, music, uh, how to fix guitars. Uh, uh, sometimes, because I'm old like Yoda, I speak about uh, uh, life, uh, uh, about how to find a job. And uh, so, if one of your videos had an expected negative fan reaction, uh, yes, but not in a massive way. So. What I mean is there is always some of the fan that is not happy with the video. Sometimes uh, it's about what you're talking, sometimes it's what you're saying that creates to them a different perspective on something you are saying so they understand.
understand differently or they are not agreeing with your point and because as I just said I make videos about trying to helping people I discovered that uh, my uh, subscribers the, their age is very uh, young age is about 18 and 24 years old so what I'm doing because I'm old like you and I'm trying to transfer my life experience to them whispering ASMR that's what I what is about my channel and sometimes obviously especially because I talk to Italians in Italian I sometimes say something about Italy that obviously maybe is not uh, easy for them to hear and sometimes I have some subscribers or some uh, uh, people writing in the comment that uh, you know uh, Italy is not like anymore like I was in Italy or other stuff but in general uh, I didn't have any video that wasn't uh, good I mean uh, uh, I had usually I always have a really huge percentage of people that loves my videos but sometimes it also is not possible make everyone happy what videos of yours do you think did, didn't get the love they deserve it um, uh, there are a couple there are a couple videos uh, like for example there are a video about Star Wars uh, um, that I uh, actually filmed uh, no long ago, I think about a month ago. And uh, I guess I would expect those videos, they were posted because, for example, the last movie of Star Wars came out and, uh, um, and uh, they didn't get the uh, number of views or the interest that I thought they would get. And uh, so this video, those videos are the one that you have to go to rewatch, to understand, check the analytics, to see what happened. But in the last period, the only videos that they were, they didn't go. I expected they were exactly the one from Star Wars or from the Mandalorian, for example. Uh, last week I just posted a video about Ahsoka Tano coming out in the Mandalorian episode five or chapter thirteen, called the Jedi. Uh, and uh, I, they, I don't know why they didn't get uh, the same uh, number of views in the same short time they usually my video my videos uh, they get and I'm trying to understand why but anyways that's the, the only videos that uh, they didn't get uh, the, let's say that what I was expecting what's something that audience doesn't know about the behind of the scenes of your channel as i just told you i always talking about something important for my subscribers so it can be how to find a job how to open a youtube channel or other stuff like this uh, like for example the last video i posted is like uh, is about how it's built a formula one car talking about uh, carbon fiber brakes engine how it's made uh, uh, tank uh, and uh, gas tanks uh, hybrid cars so sometimes i speak about electric cars how it works so just to give more information possible while i'm relaxing my audience and uh, what they don't know probably is that there is a lot of research research on the internet uh, a lot of things that I talk about uh, in my videos, they come from my own experience. It can be music, it can be other stuff, but even I have a lot of experience because I'm old like Yoda, as I said. Uh, I have to get information to bring my experience update to this period because obviously uh, I, I, my experience can be uh, uh, 20 years, 30 years old, and I need to bring those experience updated to today and also find a way to talk to the young guys which are my subscribers as I told you it's between 18 and 24 years old my the range of my audience so I need to talk to them in a way that is relaxing but is also understandable for the young kids what's the most absurd request you have received from a fan um, I have to say uh, I didn't have a, um, a lot of weird, uh, weird uh, requests or maybe because I'm a man uh, uh, older man probably uh, mm -hmm. actually I receive a lot of requests uh, 
which are actually a lot of good ideas to film new videos for my subscribers. As you know, uh, having a channel, like for example ASMR SLK is about a year and a couple months old uh, and I posted already uh, about 130, 135 videos on my channel so sometimes happens that uh, your creative part of your mind gets tired and uh, you don't have any idea uh, for the next video uh, coming on uh, in two days for example and sometimes just reading the comments and uh, uh, listening what the subscribers are commenting to you gives you a lot of ideas to go forward very important to your family and friends know you make a smart video uh, yes, right now they know because it's about a year. I don't think, except my mother, actually, I discovered that she watches my video always. Um, but my family is in Italy, so obviously uh, they watch sometimes, probably my mother more than the others, uh, the, my ASMR video in Italian language. But I know. Have you ever been recognized in public? Uh, no, not yet. Uh, also because, uh, as I told you, my video grew a lot because since I start uh, filming in uh, Italian language, and I don't think it's gonna happen for a while. The meaning is that uh, my channel started as a ASMR channel with the sounds. In the beginning, I was even shy to show my face. My channel uh, started growing when uh, I, I start speaking Italian on uh, my videos. So, which means my uh, subscribers, which right now I'm almost hitting 4,000 subs, and uh, but they are mostly in Italy. So, also I live here in California. So, obviously, probably nobody is gonna recognize me. What inspires your video ideas? As I told you before, uh, um, usually what I do, uh, I watch movies or watch other videos. I have a lot of interest. Uh, I, um, I'm 53 years old, but I'm really a modern uh, uh, mind, let's say. So I'm really interested in music, in a lot of things, electronic uh, engineering. Uh, I'm, I, my background is uh, electronic. I studied electronic in a school and university. And uh, so I have a lot of uh, uh, experiences, of job experiences. So what I really like, what inspires me to do this video is trying to share my experiences in my long life uh, uh, to uh, other people. So to make them understand that there is always a, a, something important to do or something to create. So sometimes I watch videos, I watch movies, I watch movies, uh, or I listen to music, or I see things around on the road, and they it just inspire me to have uh, an idea for a video. Where do you find yourself spending the most time online? Um, normally, I'm always uh, uh, searching and working on the CEO for my YouTube channels because it's very important. So I'm always checking uh, my uh, analytics and my keywords and most of the other times is mostly about uh, um, find ideas uh, for uh, a new video or get information about something new that came out like it can be the pandemic right now or can be uh, I don't know the new song of the uh, 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 artist or a new movie anything can give me uh, an inspiration so I'm really uh, looking for a lot of um, uh, different things on the internet but usually most of the time is spent working on my YouTube channel. What advice would you give to someone who want to make their own ASMR content? Um, this is a question that I ask myself in the beginning before opening the channel and even you think you are uh, kind of a uh, smart enough to understand uh, what to do the reality is that until you don't do it and you don't make it you don't understand exactly how it is and uh, what's work and what not so the first thing first my suggestion is um, start 
start doing it uh, because because you're gonna learn so many things about yourself about the technical part of making a video but in general my biggest suggestion is look what the uh, successful people does and find the one that really really you you think fits your personality and use your personality to change what he does or her she does so the meaning is obviously there is so many ways to do ASMR and there are so many ASMR artists so kind of you don't have to discover the wheel it's already been discovered but you have to use your own personality when you're doing things because otherwise you're gonna be in the lost in the in, in the mass of the people and you're not gonna be successful so if you check YouTube in general all the YouTube channel not just ASMR but in general that are famous or they get millions of views and a lot of subscribers they do because the person that is doing something new or not new is doing it in a way that is interesting and usually the uniqueness of your person is what makes things different and interesting so don't be scared start keep in mind that the first period the first two three months are just to grow your experience youtube use the time to kind of understand if your channel is growing is okay so these two three months in the beginning don't worry just taste different things just start do or do not there is no try okay go forward go for it okay ragazzi these are my 25 uh, question challenge answers and i hope they were interesting and relaxing in the same time and uh, i'll see you next video asmr video from slk in english probably next week okay i'll see you soon and thank you so much